hey viewers i hope you all are doing well and today's video is gonna be about on walter we will see how to create gaming server and the what the conclusion we will get at last so without further any delay let's get right into the video viewers first of all we will create our server select the gpu individually you can select any one of them so I will go through with A16 now time to select our region now third step we will select windows because we want easy setup for our cloud gaming now you can select size I think that is in my budget that's why I will go through with it so moving to forward okay simply uncheck this because we do not want any additional feature I think that is unnecessary maybe that's increase our cost so simply hit deploy now now wait for finish great now our server is on running state so first of all we will check our server is running or not so just a second put here your IP now I think we are doing something wrong or we are missing something just a second oh shit we are forget to applying the firewalls okay first of all we add our firewalls maybe firewalls are missing so search here firewalls okay so here is firewall option so simply we will create new firewalls go to manage create firewall groups put here any name gaming now add firewall groups now we will find here for rdp ports okay so ms rdp ports now simply click on add icon maybe everything is finished here so simply we will go back to our server okay so now we will update our firewalls here is firewalls here now we will select our created firewalls now simply click on update okay maybe that updated i think we do not need any drivers for installation i think that is pre-installed on that server simply put here your username now copy and paste here your password so our initial step is turn off internet enhanced security let's go to local server now hit here turn off now simply click on ok ok so that's completed uh, and this will also help us for surfing browser without any issue so first of all we will check the configuration of our server you can check here what the configurations are now all things are mentioned here like how much space or how much memory ok so simply you can install some necessary softwares like chrome or epic store as you want you can install any software as you want so simply i will install them on third step we will set up our windows on auto logon simply put here netbridge keyword okay so simply uncheck this now apply 
put here windows password copy it now paste in both columns click on ok button hit again ok button now move to fourth step first of all we go to device manager now expand both of columns display adapter and monitor you can see here and here so we disable both of microsoft display adapter now that will not create an issue while connecting the POSIX now all things are set up again simply connect with our server boom we are on our server fill here your windows password we are on our desktop so now you can do anything as you want like you can play games or you can do rendering or do any heavy task which want gpu so first of all i will show you what the location of that server so you can see here karnataka the state of bengaluru First of all, I will log in my Epic account on Epic Store. Okay, so login was done. So simply we will install any games. Okay, so I will install a small games for testing and a performance purpose. wait for finish okay finally our game is downloaded now it is on our launch pad so let's launch our game and we will check the performance how efficient it work Hope you like the gameplay. I think that is enough for our testing purpose. So if you ask me the conclusion according to me, performance was bit good even there is a new issue in latency. Also we are using our home region that's why performance was good in latency. So one more thing if you want to play high end games then you need to shift at high specs. So guys that's our video. If you like our video please subscribe our channel and stay with us. Goodbye.